Hello, welcome to Positivity. Um, my name is Renee Olson and we're gonna have a single card pull and a little bit of a chat. Um, for those who don't know, I'm also Moose River Witch. Um, I am currently located in uh, Eastern North Carolina and uh, I try to give a little bit of a positive for what's going on in our world today. Um, each day I do a single card pull um, then I have a three card pull that comes later in the day and uh, then on Fridays I do a vlog um, and uh, I'd like to have you join me for those if you're interested in that. <clears throat> so we are having our cup of Rubios. This tea is wonderful for um, those that have uh, issues that cannot drink uh, teas like green tea or black tea maybe if, they, if those impact your iron levels. Um, this is a great tea to use instead. Um, so this week uh, for my vlog on Friday, I will be doing a little bit about uh, empathic eating. Um, and this is gonna be around what uh, hol holistic wellness, around what you're doing with your body um, as it relates to food and the current state of our food in, um, in the United States. Um, so I hope you'll join me for that. Let's pull our card. So I'm gonna pull from the River Witch Oracle. This is available on my website at newsriverwitch.com. This is a deck that I created um, and it focuses mainly on the icons and the magic of the rural South. Uh, it pays homage and respect to those indigenous uh, cultures that were here as well as to uh, enslaved Africans um, where their culture was brought into uh, the Southern uh, magical culture. Um, Okay, so here's our card. Let's see what we got. Ah, the woodshed. So I'm gonna hold this up where you can see it. Okay, the key words for woodshed are discipline, growth, and strength. So the woodshed, for those that are not aware, um, was something that it was a euphemism for um, taking someone out, generally a child, and applying corporal punishment. So basically they would be spanked um, or in some cases beaten um, to make them understand the problems that or the issues that were created through some error that they committed. I think what a lot of, of uh, parents specifically uh, forget is that the word discipline, it's, it is also part of disciple, which means to teach. And Generally speaking, so when you think about this, and, and I'm, I know I'm going down a slippery slope here when I start talking about corporal punishment, um, but if you started a job, right, let's say you started a job and you weren't really familiar with how to do the tasks at the job that you're working at, you're a grown adult, and sometimes the language that was being spoken and the directions you were given, you didn't really understand. Like maybe they used words you didn't know or they um, wanted you to complete a specific task and you didn't know how to do it. Um, and when you made a mistake, instead of being told what you did wrong and discussing it with you to help you understand the right way, which would be teaching, um, the person who was guiding you just walked up and, and punched you in the mouth. So now I could say that probably after two or three times, I would probably quit that job. Right? I wouldn't be interested in continuing to work with someone who did that. So I like to take that same analogy and apply it to raising children, teaching children, that sort of thing. Um, children are just little adults, right? They don't know, they don't, they don't know what we're doing. They've not, they've not been here before. They don't have your 20, 30 years of experience. So we should think about that whenever we're, um, up, uh, whenever we're applying discipline. Um, and always think back to that word, discipline means to teach. Um, now I'm gonna step away from that one. Um, you can certainly disagree with me in the comments if you'd like. Um, the next word is growth. So in order to learn, right, in order to learn, or when we learn, we grow. Um, this tip goes back to my, my what, 17 year old self working at McDonald's. I started reading a book um, for part of my uh, training to become a manager um, called Grinding It Out by Ray Kroc and he was the founder of McDonald's. Well, he purchased McDonald's from the McDonald Brothers and made it into the corporation that it is today, but he had a section in there that talked about being green and growing 
as long as you're learning, you're growing. Um, if you stop learning, if you stop growing, then you die. Um, and that, that's typical of most plants that you see. And I think that's kind of what made me really connect to that analogy. So what I try to do is make sure that I learn something new every day. I continue to grow. Um, and our last word is strength. So strength, it comes from within. And it all, it talks about physical strength. It talks about emotional strength. It talks about spiritual strength. Wherever you feel that you need to focus that energy on today, pull that energy from this card and focus on that strength. Develop in, you know, if you're wanting to learn um, to, to help motivate your, your career or your connection to family or your connection to the deity that you happen to follow. Focus on that strength and connect to that energy. So that's our card for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have comments, if you want to discuss it, but t tell me about discipline. What do you think? Um, what do you think about the, the, of the perspective of teaching versus beating someone? Um, I'm happy to, to have that uh, discourse in the chat. Um, I want to remind you that uh, Friday I'm going to be talking about our uh, empathic eating or uh, spiritual eating. I have a course on my website, uh, Developing Your Oracle Skills, and it's going to lead right into it. I hope you'll join me for that. And um, I would like to just remind you that it is going to be rough out here the next couple of days. Local people, be mindful of storms that are coming in. Turn around, don't drown. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Have a glorious day.